Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing video and today I have something a little bit different. Instead of Sketchbox and Art Snacks, this is the Smile Create and Repeat box and I saw this while I was looking for other options for um, subscription boxes because I kept thinking, um, you know, I wanted to do so I wanted to find some other kind of boxes because you know like our snacks and sketchbooks are the most famous one obviously but I wanted to see if there was something else out there something that was maybe cheaper than another subscription box that you guys know and um, I found this one small create and repeat and as far as size this is slightly bigger than the art snacks box but still smaller than the sketch box so it's a nice medium size box I guess so you could say and it's only $20 as well for, per month and they don't charge you any shipping and unfortunately they only ship to the United States they don't ship internationally so that kind of that's kind of really bad but if you're in the United States and you want to see another option for a subscription box that's a little bit cheaper or at least in the $20 range this is the smile create and repeat box um, now what is it inside well, we're gonna find out right now. So, is it gonna be worth it? Is it not gonna be worth it? Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna see here. Oh yeah, and the box itself, there's nothing in it. Like, there's no logo or anything. It's a simple white box, but I guess that's okay. So, da, 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 we're gonna see right now. what do we have inside we have a little well a paper and mm -hmm, this is for the summer sketchbook pre-order and I did order the, the summer sketchbooks because I want to see how it is it's only 30 uh, I think it was $35 the summer sketchbox so mm -hmm, we're gonna see how it is and this June surprise box, this right here, they tell you what it's what's in there. There's a video demo. They have a YouTube video. They have a YouTube channel, and so I guess there's a demo to do this. And uh, they have, oh cool, they have like little like little instructions on how to use those materials, which is really nice because like sometimes people don't really know how to use the materials that they get. Like I've, I've gotten some that I'm just like, well. <laughs> And this is really nice because it actually tells you like how you can do what is happening here. Cool. And it has social media. Now let's see what's inside the box and then I'm going to read what they, what they say about it. And it says, oh, there's a little pencil. And they have, welcome to smile, create, repeat. Oh, that's nice. They have a little pencil that says smilecreatorrepeat.com. <laughs> it's a very simple pencil and it's nice. They have a little post postcard. This is also just for advertising for them. It's nice as well. They have ooh ooh watercolor palette. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, are we gonna get watercolors? Because <gasps> I didn't actually read this thing. Are we gonna get watercolors? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Actually, I, this is really useful for me. <laughs> um, we have paper. Oh, it's a oh. This is like cardstock paper. We have a oh, it's like the little mini blog, like a very sample block of watercolor paper probably 140 pounds it's cold press apparently they have a sticker mm -hmm. there is one two three four of the little pieces of paper and there are postcards oh art postcards oh that's cute This is Cardinal, and it was an acrylic and oil on canvas by Tony Luongio. This is a really nice art. And this one, 
<laughs> that's cute this one is by Tony Luongo also for smile create and repeat that's cute that they send you art cards let's see and uh, we have there's no watercolor sender so that's interesting why did we get a palette I like the way this is packaged this is so rustic <laughs> let's see uh, this is nice I'm gonna save this I'm also gonna save this oh we got one watercolor yay <laughs> this is cerulean blue hue by it's a Winsor Newton Cutman watercolor I have cerulean but it's not the cute but that's nice yay one more for the art we have Lyra aqua brush duo I think I got a Lyra marker once but I've never had this one Ooh, brush tip Ooh, not a brush tip <laughs> hmm interesting it says aqua brush duo so is it gonna be like water based am i gonna be able to do washes with it we get oh <laughs> we get two we have two round brushes from Princeton art and brush company this is a nice company to be honest like i they're they're cheap brushes but they're a nice company like established company and they're round brushes and i'm already in love with them <laughs> more brushes this this is a good box for me right now. Wow, this was like made for me. That's my first box today. I have a pencil. This one is the Tombow Homograph Mono 2H pencil. Highest quality. And they have a dragonfly for their logo. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's a nice pencil with a nice marker with a pretty nice color with some nice brushes and that was nice too. Plus palette. Okay, I am liking what I'm seeing here. Right here. This paper though. <laughs> I am liking what I'm seeing right here like a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this, if there was any other month I had, I should have gotten this box, it was gonna be this month. Like this is watercolor month and i'm just like this is mine okay so let's see what they have to say about this let's fold this for a little bit ah sorry paper let's just make this smaller okay so they say what supplies are in my june surprise each month you will receive a pencil with a different graphite hardness collect each each box to complete a set ranging from very hard 6H to very soft 6B. Oh, so they have like, okay, so they give you one of each of these pencils just so that you can complete a set. That's cool. That's a good idea. So we know that we're always going to get a pencil, but it could be different hardness. hardness. So this one is the Tombow Mono Professional Drawing Pencil 2H. Its superior extra refined high density graphite makes this the ultimate instrument for drawing. Cool. Then we have the Winsor Newton Cotton Watercolor Paint. I'm very familiar with these, but what they say is they have excellent tint and strength and are easy to work with and are compatible with acrylics and wash to produce combinations of opacity and transpa transparency. That is true. We have the Lyra Aqua Brush Duo Marker, and this is a water based ink pen that was specially developed for artists and designers. The outstanding properties of the dual tips of these pens enable the user to produce beautiful brush effects. Noise. We have the Princeton Art and Brush Company Sable Brushes. Short handle natural sable brush. Are these natural sable brushes? <laughs> Wait, are these the natural ones? Uh, mm. Ooh. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay, what is it? Shorthanded natural sable brushes for watercolor and water media. Are these really natural? Oh, I'm gonna be very happy that they are. We have the Riches Riches Rich Sons. I hope I'm saying that right. Rectangular six well tray. White plastic tray with six circular wells for mixing paint. It's durable and easy to clean. I can affirm to that. And I actually really happy with this because I really wanted one. I need a one small, that's a small one like this. 
And we have the fluid watercolor paper. And this is crafted in small batches at slow speeds in a European paper mill, acid free, cold press, 140 pounds. Yeah, I thought so. It's like the most common kind of weight, weight of paper. So, they don't really say fluid watercolor paper. Is that their mark? Their low, the, what it is. <laughs> is that what the company is called? Fluid? I wonder. Hmm. Okay, now let's see. And share what you've created, tag your art with at smile create repeat or hashtag smile create repeat. Okay. So to recap. The Lyra Aqua Brush to apparently sable brushes. I'm gonna be very happy if that's the case. The mono, this one. Something that I wish they could send is actual little an actual watercolor sketchbook or just I don't know because this seems like a sample sample size type of type of um type of type of thing because it's not like it's it's not full size paper. Which I guess it makes sense because they can't actually send you full size paper in this box. But maybe there's like a little pad that they could like make just like it's one of those small little pads for travel size maybe. That could have been nicer. Of course, this is still really good. This is still really good, but it's gonna be hard to like know how to price this if I can find an equal. So I guess we're gonna see. But for now, I am going to make a little painting. materials oh well first of all this is the painting I made and I didn't use this as much as maybe it should have been used like the way it's supposed to be used with the brush tip and everything instead I just started like you saw me I will put water on the brush pan and then dab on this just so like I could get a softer type of look a softer color um, and then just some hard lines along with the brush tip but otherwise, I think this is a very nice color and I actually really like this this um, supply a lot. Nip point. Eh. It's a nip point. But the brush tip, I am definitely loving. Um, as far as these brushes go, I will have to say that if this is actually sable, it's not the part of the sable that you're actually looking for. Because... First of all, what I did, and first of all, what you're supposed to kind of do when you're testing out your brushes is that you would dab it on the water and then you flick it. And I'm not, I can't flick it on camera, but you flick it and let's see, flick it, flick, flick. Okay, so the thing is, let me see if I can do something. Okay, see, so the thing is that when you have this brush, the tip is supposed to make a very good point and you probably cannot see it but the thing is that neither of these made good points like when you flick them like this is what it looks like wet and then you flick and then it's supposed to be a really good point but it doesn't actually make a good point like this isn't good and the thing that's wrong with that is that if you can make a good point with this, you can do detail. And if you can't do detail, then the round brush is kind of like losing its point because it's the point of the whole point of a round brush is that you can do very good brush strokes as, and also detail, which is what I do with my other round brushes. 
so in the end these Princeton brushes yeah I knew they were cheap but I was kind of hoping that it would be better than usual but they're not and I actually when while I was painting like some of the little hairs were um, falling off and I had to flick them up from my painting which would leave uh, you know fingerprints which is not nice at all for a painting so even though these are like brush nice brushes for beginning I would say if you're not sure like if you want to paint something yeah, I would say buy these but as far as for me I think I'm gonna just keep them for like testing out other materials and I don't want to wait why well, don't I don't want to use my other nicer brushes so there's that then we have the cut mint watercolor cut mint <laughs> cut mint watercolor paint in the cerulean blue hue now this one obviously is not as strong as my other cerulean which is not a hue one and if you don't know what hue means it just means that the it has a lesser pigment in it it has um it has less pigment in it and so that means that i either had to use more paint with it or that is just not as strong and um it's a good it's western newton so you know that you're getting a good product in and of itself but it's not that strong either so there's that but other other than that this is just one more to add to my you know my arsenal of watercolors so thank you for that then this little thing always helpful always so this i'm happy with this i'm satisfied with and uh, I've, besides that, the monopane, I just used it for a little bit of shading and a little bit of sketching. So that's always good. And to be honest, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy for this box because it's it was just $20, you know, and there's no shipping and anything. So it was just my $20. And I actually think that I, I'm okay with these materials for what they are because I knew what the Princeton Company did and I, I didn't know about this that much. But I appreciate this art material a lot, and I wouldn't mind doing art, art, an art piece using just these Lyra brushes. Um, and you know, I'm kind of really glad that I'm gonna get more of these. Let's see. Now, as far as for the prices go, that I'm gonna discuss in the description box. So, was it worth it? Was it not? read on and find out <laughs> okay well that's all for today guys and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next video bye render no show through oh this is so bad <laughs> no show through because you know you're kind of supposed to be united with your people there like the customers are like sometimes the enemy and they just